was first introduced in 1985 as a way for Honda to target a younger generation, typically new to motorcycles, and broke. Which is especially true today where a coffee and bagel costs an hour of labor, and the idea of owning a home almost anywhere in California is a long-off and mystical dreamscape. With strange quinoa and faro dietary options on every corner, Los Angeles is the ground zero dwelling of the hip Instagram demographic that Honda hopes to see straddling its extremely user-friendly, affordable, and bare-bones styled new Rebel, which starts at a very reasonable $5,999 for the Bersé model, and $6,299 for ABS. The stripped-down styling leaves a lot of room for customization, something that Honda really wants to encourage with the Rebel. The steel rear fender is purposefully designed to be completely removable via a couple bolts, giving the bike a full-on bobber look. I personally would rip that rear fender off and throw some clip-ons on old Bessie like the custom P40 styled Rebel 500 seen below, but that's just me. The Rebel has gotten a huge performance upgrade in addition to its makeover. Instead of that wheezy old air-cooled carburetor 250cc twin, or the old 450 twin, the Rebel 500 gets its ponies straight from the CB500 or CB500 FCB500 X 471cc fuel-injected liquid-cooled parallel twin with four valves per cylinder, 